Stuart, we talked about this moment this week, what it would mean to win this race. Tell us about that race today and what you were thinking. Uh, just, you know, a lot of things. We weren't very good at the beginning, and, and, and you know, we came in and, and pitted, got fuel, and then, look, you know, we were, we were going to try to do, like, a super fuel mileage deal, and the car was just, you know, I mean, it wasn't good with a full load of fuel, so we knew we needed to burn it off, but we knew we needed to make some better adjustments to have a, to have a fast car, so we came in and, and took tires and uh, just made, you know, four or five key adjustments. Uh, Matty Hearn came down and worked with Eric Mack, my crew chief, for this race, and uh, I'm just proud of Eric. He did a great job all week. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of all our crew, all these volunteers that came out, out, and we had a good time all week. We enjoyed ourselves, and we camped, and um, you know, took it all in. We experienced everything from from the the guys, you know, back at the ghetto that put up the Pete Street Tavern. We were there uh, Thursday night or Friday night. I can't remember which one, but um, it was just uh, this is just an unbelievable experience, and I'm just so happy with the way everything turned out. What were the odds that you'd make the pass for the lead and the win in the same spot you did one year ago? Uh, I don't know. I didn't think that was going to happen, but you know, I feel really bad for Matt. He he works harder than, than probably anybody out here. Um, he's a super great race car driver. He's he's an awesome mechanic, and he just he said he had an electrical problem there, and and the thing was just breaking down on him. So there's nothing. I mean, I thought he was running out of fuel, but he, you know, it wasn't even that. So um, the, the, he's a great competitor, um, a, a great guy to race with, and um, you know, when we when I when I saw him slowing down, we just tried to get by him as quick as we could, and just that's how it worked out, I guess. You're the final person to be standing on this victory stage. What does that mean to you? Uh, you know, like I said, just uh, even if we didn't win today, like we were just happy to be here and experience it and, and be part of this event. Um, you know, and we're really looking forward to next year's event. You know, these guys at, uh, at World Racing Group, Brian Carter and, and, and Deary and, and, and Mike Parati, the, the whole group, they're very, very smart. Uh, they're, they're great marketers. Um, and to market this event as good as they did to pack the place was was you know some people might say that's an easy job it's it's a very tremendously hard job um and we worked with the guys all week long and and, and they just did a great job so you know going forward um you know this this guy's the limit you know we're excited to go to the world finals look at look at the, the, the deal they do there and uh you know i'm trying not to pump tires too much but they're just great guys to race for they really are well there you have it folks Stuart friesen becomes the final winner on the syracuse mile for race for a weekly i'm fast eddie